Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. And today I'm gonna be doing a little exploring with some new ammo I got from Lucky 7 Air Ammo. That's right. These are 357 120 grain hardened steel core slugs from Lucky 7 that I'll be shooting through my Benjamin Bulldog. Got some interesting stuff I wanna share and show you today. So keep watching and let me get into it because it's gonna be a good one. So here it is right here, the 120 grain hardened steel core air gun slug from Lucky 7. So a big shout out to Dana for getting this to me. They wanted to send some over for me to try. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we get some good results with these guys. With some chronograph data, some different targets and accuracy, it's definitely going to be a well worthwhile video. And he does not only just make 357 ammo, he makes all different calibers. So check the link down in the description below to see if he makes air gun ammo for your specific caliber of air gun that you have. So a big special thanks again for getting this ammo to me. I really appreciate it. Definitely going to do some testing with it. Let's get into it. So I got my targets lined up here on my table with the Bulldog at 3000 PSI, filled up. And right here, first target up is 240 paper plates, just to test for penetration. Plus you never know when we're gonna get attacked by paper plates. But also down here, I have some more random targets that we'll get to here in a second and chronograph right in front. So let me get set up here and take the first shot. And always, I'm gonna wear my Safety glasses because these are different types of rounds, penetration rounds. So definitely prepare for the unexpected here. Got cameras rolling. Safety off. are smoking eight hundred and forty feet per second Wow those are smoking didn't go all the way through the three as you can see here Wow went through one there's the slug right there that thing is mangled look at that hardened steel core point Woo! Definitely interesting. Wow. That's crazy. Next target here is a very inexpensive cast iron skillet just to take some test shots at. I want to see what it does. Right. Okay, got it set up. Let's get back here. Woo! Eight hundred and thirty feet per second. It blew right through holy cow that slug did not have a chance of stopping there look at that whoa that is 
something. Jeez. Luckily, I'm naming down at the wood pile. Let's see if I can hit this padlock. Oh, by the way, that's over 180. Three foot pounds, 184 to 189 foot pounds, right there. 120 grade projectile going that powerful. Woo! Woo! 830 feet per second, 183.59 foot pounds. Wow! Turn you guys around. It blew it off the stand here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit, hit this padlock. It must have. It must have hit the. Uh, bars or something because it did not do anything to the padlock here. I'm going to hit it this time. Oh, I hit the, I hit it, I keep hitting the bar, the lock. It dented the padlock though. Let's hit it a couple more times. Must be aiming it here too high. Woo, woo. We're down to about 2,500 PSI. I'm going to get you this time. Woo! Gone now! Crack my 2x4. That power energy dump is insane. Oh, there we go. There it is. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Come on, you gotta bust that lock. Man. That penetrating core is sticking out from the back end. That is awesome. Whoa. All right, now that we had some fun, I'm gonna go take it and set up range at 50 yards, guys, and see how well this thing actually shoots accurately with this ammo at 50 yards, because obviously this ammo is set up for some good penetration at over 180 foot-pounds at the muzzle here, right in front of the chronograph, going about 830 to 850 feet per second on average or so, depending on how much you have your gun filled up and tuned to. This is out-of-the-box Benjamin Bulldog. I didn't do any tuning, no hammer spring adjustment, nothing to it. So this is awesome right here. This Lucky 7 ammo is definitely surprising and definitely has some dumping power and penetration, obviously. Wow.
I definitely would not want to get hit or struck by anything like this at all. Or really hit by anything, but that's something else. Okay, I'm here at 50 yards and going to be taking 10 shots with the Bulldog. I got the Bulldog fully aired up to 3,000 PSI. Take a five, then take five more with the Lucky 7 ammo here. See which one. See if it's pressure sensitive and how accurate they are at 50. Here we go. keep hitting my plumb line they're pretty accurate they're shooting high very high Last shot. Jeez. Woo, those are accurate. That's five shots. Let me check the pressure here. We are at about 2,500 PSI. I'm gonna load five more and be right back. Here we go, another five shots. 2,500 PSI starting pressure on this Bulldog. 50 yards again. First five shots look very promising. Still shooting really high. Woo. These things pack a punch. Well, it looks like the group is shifting a little bit because of the pressure change and volume of air. So now we're down to about 2 K, and this is the last shot, a five-shot group. Yep. 
Yep, we're falling off now. So, I would say the most accurate for this would be between 25 and 2,000 PSI. 2,500 and 2,000 PSI for these loads in this Bulldog. This is factory. I haven't adjusted it. This is like right out of the box as you would get it. Woo! Okay, now I want to go over the target real quick. Not superiorly precise by no means, but five the five first shots, about three inch group there at 50 yards, and then the pressure fell off and had a flyer here. I don't know what that was about, but the next five shots at between 2,500 PSI down to about 2,000 PSI, a two inch group. I'll take that. I mean, but all these would hit what I'm aiming at, especially a medium sized game at, on this target here. But other than that, guys, if you're looking for, you know, a really good priced ammunition for your big bore, definitely check out Lucky 7. And again, a big thanks for Dana to sending them to me. And they're priced accordingly and definitely worth it in my book. Now, you know, you can't really find ammunition right now, but they're decently accurate and you can find them for the price and quantity. So, especially in my gun, I know each gun is going to vary, but I can't complain about a two inch group with a slug that I've never shot before. Um, but other than that, guys, definitely check out Lucky 7 ammo if you're interested. Not only do they have the 357 ammo, but also the other calibers that are out there in air guns. So a big thanks again, and I hope you guys liked the video. Hope to catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.